Welcome back to the Sorcerer Guide for Elden Ring, everyone. I came back to the round table hold because I've done quite a lot of stuff off screen, just clearing out some of the dungeons uh, that I didn't get to and all that. Uh, and the benefit of that was that I did pick up quite a few uh, glove warts, grave glove warts. So I thought I'd come back here and upgrade my spirit ashes a little bit more. Let's go ahead and, of course, do the Great Shield Soldiers. We can get them to plus six, at, like, which is pretty good. And then I said I would do... Oleg, but I don't have Ghost Glowwort. Fuck. Let me just check this. Because I think I do have the bell, and the bell does allow you to buy uh, level two of these items. And, you know, the thing is that yeah, let's just check it. Hell yeah, you can. And do I, I don't think I need a level 3. We'll see how far I go with this in terms of upgrading these. I haven't actually gotten a spirit to plus 10. Didn't do that in my first playthrough, so maybe I'll do that now. But there are some other significant things going on here, which I will show in a little bit. Alright, that's great for you. You're certified. You have your cert. Actually, that's pretty good. Got this to plus four. <laughs> and I got a gesture out of it. But really, the most significant thing is that I found out that the dagger that Fia gives you, you need to give it to D. And that actually unlocked this part of the round table hold. And there is D, dead. D's bell. <laughs> Twin Helm, oh, it's a set. That's pretty good. It's not a bad looking thing. It's very Roman. And Fia is here. Okay, I should stand. Okay. Interesting. This is some lore, so I'm paying attention. Interesting. That is very interesting. So, oh, <laughs> she straight up peaced out like that. So, the most interesting thing is that, um, well, like, so Godwin is, like, supposed to return. Uh, I think her questline should be advancing too. But I thought that Godwin was basically dead. Like, he's dead AF. Um, but who knows? Who knows at this point who's dead and who's alive? Anyways, if I'm not mistaken, I still should have... No, I do not have enough to level up. But I do have quite a lot of these. I definitely do not have enough to level up. I just realized. Yeah, the it's the Oleg upgrade. Those types of spirit ashes actually take quite a lot. And... I could upgrade my weapon as well a bit more because there is a place where you can get a level 6 somber smithing stone but eh, we'll do that later. What I do want to check out is one thing because there is a what you call it here falling star beast that I've never actually managed to kill and I do want to see if he's possible with sorceries or if he's easier. After that, I guess going to the capital would make the most sense, but I could also go to Mount Gelmir instead.
even though we don't need to go to Mount Gelmir. There is a lot of important stuff there. I'll make the decision. It doesn't matter. Really. We'll get to both places eventually. I don't think so, bitch. God, he really uh, he spams that. Fuck. I did not think these things would do that much damage. Luckily, these enemies are also extremely easy to ignore. Which is what I'm planning to do here. I honestly just want to see the Falling Star Beast. Because I particularly remember this thing getting the best of me. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> that is pretty cool. The cult is summoning it. Or something like that. One thing you have to know about this thing is that it's mad annoying too. Yep. I still do not know what the hell you're supposed to do against that attack. Still. I mean, he's taking damage. But I'm not sure if he's taking enough damage for me to be able to kill him. But well, that should be good. You just gotta be careful. Oh, fucking hell. You just gotta be real careful. I have a very strong dislike to this boss, um, and I don't know why, I mean, his design is cool, it looks good, there's just something about the, the moveset, I don't know, man. He does, like, gravity shit too, but I, okay, I have no idea what to do there. Okay. Using sorcery has not changed my opinion of this fight. But, I mean, he is possible. On a technical level. Yeah, you can hit his head, and I think his tail is the other weak spot. Motherfucker. Yes, please kill the little ads. It's the last thing I want to deal with. They're using gravity magic too. Alright. I'm so dead. So you just gotta be very... Could you be more erratic? I'm so close. Die! No! <clears throat> I'm a tiny bit pissed about that. Just like this much. Because he had like no HP left.
All right, this should be, I think, it. If I don't screw up, which I won't. God damn. Yeah, um, actually killing this thing because again, I didn't kill a single one of these uh, in the entire first playthrough. Did not really change my opinion of this fight. Uh, this kind of sucks, this boss. It's such a shame. Honestly, there are so many cool looking bosses and enemy designs and everything in this game. A ton of them, but so many of them almost seem to be designed explicitly to annoy the player as much as possible that it it's difficult sometimes, honestly. It's difficult. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we'll head into the capital. I see that as the next sort of logical conclusion. At least I was wrong on one thing. This enemy at least dropped a decent chunk of souls, uh, which is a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is, and again, I'm skipping a lot of the dungeon stuff. There is a particularly useful dungeon down like that way uh, which also contains one of these bell bearings but I think making progress is a little bit better I'm strong enough for sure to do the capital stuff at least damage output wise um, don't ask about the murder spree I felt it necessary All right, here we go. Whoa, okay. Uh, we will ignore that. What I was gonna say, or trying to say, is that if there is one thing I do really like, it's this capital. I think this has to be, and I said it in my review as well, this has to be one of the best dungeons in all of Souls. Uh, I'd say it's just exactly what you would want the complexity the sort of epicness all the layers the enemies everything this is a pretty perfect dungeon as far as i'm concerned and a lot of these games dungeons do follow that pattern that they're excellent am i barefoot God damn. Do you really want your toes poking out? I guess you're tarnished, which is sort of like undead, so it doesn't really matter, but Jesus. Like your gross feet everywhere. All right. Nice view. This is an apartment with a view for sure. If you live here, you charge that extra. I never actually charged this weapon ever. Um, and it has a weird move. I think this blocks as well, right? Yeah, this, this should block an attack. There we go. Yeah, I never noticed the barefoot thing. Miyazaki, man. Unbelievable with the bare feet. <clears throat> Every single game. What up? Oh, Bok is here as well. <laughs> he just... Where does he, does he jump out of our pocket or what? See, if you ask my opinion, all of the rune leveling should have been with Melina up until this point. I think people have said this before, that Melina should show up more. Uh, she's a very good character, but 
I feel like even in like, like for example, I'm replaying Bloodborne, by the way. You should check out the streams. I'm playing Bloodborne. And even there, you get a closer connection with the doll. Oh, he's happy. Breast. This is well, like the nicest NPC. Again, I'm sure his fate is gonna be horrible. Uh, because that's just how it is. Oh, nice. What can you alter? It doesn't matter. I'm never gonna win the. I'm uh, no, never gonna wear the twin armor. It's like this big ass bulky thing. That is badass. That's pretty badass. I love this place so much. These guys are not gonna love me so much. Oh. Do I detect some magic resistance? Again, this is a drug-fueled enemy for sure. Uh, just when you just, just have to look at it. Just check this thing out. This is such an interesting move. That does like no damage. Because I think when the enemies were using it against me, it did block. I want that weapon so bad. You can get it. It's a faith weapon too. I think. But it only, it doesn't spew bubbles all the time, unfortunately. Which is a missed opportunity, if you're asking me. Speaking of... Speaking of... Long golden horn of the Oracle Envoys, profoundly weighty, its blows are felt sure to be felt. Originally an instrument, but one cannot be sounded by a mere human. Or perhaps it's too early to sound the call. Bubble shower. 23 strength and 18 faith. I mean, it's pretty much a... Uh, what is it considered? Let me just check the category. It's considered a great hammer. Probably good. I mean, you can blow blah, 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 blah. you can blow bubbles with it which is are you really asking for anything more what the hell I wouldn't be oh <laughs> you're you are so screwed never mind Oh, the thing, the thing that's nice about Loretta's great bow, even though it's slow, is just look at the range on it. It's pretty insane if you ask me. It basically goes further than any of my other spells. These motherfuckers. All my homies hate perfumers. Oh, they're only shitty when they're combined with that other enemy. God. And people criticize Dark Souls 2 for the tracking. Cave moss. That's That has to be someone's weed. There's no way it isn't. And they're called perfumers. I mean, did you see that room back there? That is such a good... <laughs> Did I get it? Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Is This has to be just a regular hammer, right? Hell yeah, it is. Oracular bubble. That's a more realistic stat requirement. Not that I'm going to use it, obviously. But I cannot believe I got both of these weapons. They must not be that rare, honestly. If I could get them this easily. 
Yeah, just come out here. Yeah, I can cheat too, bitch. I do like carry and greatsword for this. It's probably my favorite feature of the spell. That I can enact my revenge, as I've previously mentioned, on all of the times I've been screwed over by NPCs and bosses hitting me through the roof or pillars or whatever. Yeah, I'm almost tempted to just jump down and parkour along. Um, that's something you can very easily do in this area. But no, I'm gonna be a good boy and take the actual path. Because again... This place is kinda doink like that. Yeah, we're doing it. What's the point if you're not gonna go for it, right? And I'm gonna be honest with you, I was expecting a little bit more damage. Jesus. Ah, oh, you can't heal. Nothing lets you heal. Sometimes it's jarring. It's jarring coming back to this game after playing, again, Bloodborne, which I'm currently playing. Check me out. I'm live Wednesdays and Fridays. Um... Just like how different this game's approach is to everything. Yeah, this is another thing that nothing lets you heal. Every single enemy has a counterattack for your healing. I mean, they all input read, that's the first thing. And they all have some like incredibly quick long range running attack to prevent you from getting your heal off. You know, not saying it, that's right or wrong. But this game does have a very different approach to everything. Um, oh, I was gonna ask. And my controller is low as well. It's all good. So, honestly, if I were smart, I wouldn't attempt this again. But I do not give a shit. I know what to do now. So you blast this guy, you come down here, you take out his little minion. Pick this up. And then it should be Backstab City from here on out. Yes, it is. And then carry and greatsword city. I don't think so, bitch. Whoa. See? Fucking input reading, bitches. Alright. I legit thought that this was a door. Not that you could open it. It seemed like it. It seemed significant, but... If nothing else... Whoa! Okay, hello there. God. That is a very bad idea. Come on, I'm fishing. I just want to fish. How about the rock sling? Ah, oh, it just counters everything with that. You see, it's just... Yeah, it's too fast. I see, I... Thought I was strong enough for this area, but 
Maybe I'm not. Force. It's just force. I don't know if there's a Wrath of Gods equivalent in this game. I'm assuming there is. Oh, God, it's so annoying. God damn it. Mm. I want to go back to Bloodborne. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Yeah, this is looking rough, boys. This is looking rough. Um, that's one enemy, and that's like the sort of one of the standard enemies for this area that night. And that was me fighting two of them, and I couldn't even kill the second one. So yeah, this is not looking too good, if I'm going to be honest with you, in terms of me being strong enough to do this. We have two options. One of them is to go to Mind Gelmir instead, which I might just do. It's a slightly easier area. I specifically remember finding Gelmir a little bit easy after already clearing out the capital. That's when I went there. So I think that's going to be our strategy. We will go and do Gelmir instead. And just work from there. But, I mean, you technically don't need to fight all of the enemies. And is that just the other end of where we would end up? I think it is. Yeah, it 100% is. I mean, look at how strong the hollows are. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Gelmir should definitely be it, because that's where, um, oh shit. That's where... The dude is, what's his name? Azul, I think. And that's actually needed for Selen's quest line. I'm just gonna go back and get my shit. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just book it to the next side of grace, which <laughs> I'm actually trying to remember where it is. I think we need to go down this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there should be one here. And then, yeah, what I'm going to do is we'll turn our attention to Gelmir instead. Gelmir. At least I think there is a side of grace here. I mean, there's stuff here, that's for sure. Not very good stuff, but there's stuff here. Of course, hey, and I know that I still have the underground areas to go as well. That's another thing, like Nokron and the actual Siofria River. Oop, are you? Actually serious? I was gonna say these guys are so weak. But I am wrong. And we definitely need to hit up the Cilia Crystal Tunnels. Cause 
I need that stronger weapon. But you know, that's the nicest thing, having a goal to strive for. I'm actually not a hundred percent sure there's a a thing here. A side of grace. Now that I think about it. Stone Sword Key though is nice. Because I think there is actually just a shortcut back to the starting area. Although the other fair point is that I've never actually explored this part of the area either. I guess this is where you go to the sewers, which is something we'll need to do. Uh huh, okay, no. We could do that, but we're not gonna do that. Let me just tell you that much. Oh my god. I was just gonna say, this room very much looks like a room that would have a side of grace in it. And it don't. And that's kind of annoying, I have 30k souls. I really don't want to lose it. Clarifying boluses. This has to be against madness, right? 100%. Which is actually not bad. Madness is annoying. Mm hmm yes. I have no clue where we are. I don't think I've been to this area of the capital, but that's cool. Avenue Balcony. This is not an easy area. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, do something else and get stronger. Speaking of getting stronger, we have just enough to level up. I am really shooting. I want to get both 40 int and 30 vigor. Uh, I'm going to go for vigor first. I feel like that's needed right about now. At least the 30. The int, I'm dealing enough damage as it is, I think. And sure, we can eventually switch to the other staff, but for now, we are doing okay with this one. All right. Here's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Uh, I don't think I've been to this area. Unless it just, well, whatever. Ignore my sense of direction, which is not good. What we're gonna do is, as I said, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sorcerer Guide or Sorcerer Playthrough, I should say. I always call it a guide for Elden Ring. If you did, as always, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.